Hello, Libra. Welcome to your reading. I really did love the um, who, what, when, where, and how reading that we did the other day. So I'm like, let's do it again. See who's in your energy. Okay. We got this Syrians A. Somebody very, very artistic. Somebody who's very honest and has integrity. That sounds like a Libra. Someone's very, very creative too. Right, let's see. First, we need to see where you are. Let's see what's going on. Let's see who's in your energy. All right, where's Libra? Where's Libra's energy currently? Shadow. In your shadow self, projecting denial, shame. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so Libra, there's something that you are going to have to learn about this moment. As you are shaming in denial of a shadow self. But this is a lesson. This is the lesson. You're on the road to learn this lesson about your shadow self. This is also you growing up. And I look at this growing up as you growing in age spiritually. So I look at it as you ascending to, to new levels. Okay. Because you know when you get to new ages, you experience different things. Your body changes. Things People address you differently. You get to go to different schools. You talk differently. You have different types of experience. Um, so I do look at this as some type of level of ascension. But there's this, this lesson that needs to happen. And it looks like that there's multiple people that's had this same lesson. And your group of people who need to take this lesson. So I do feel like that there's a person that's in your energy that's very, that needs, that's in this group that's going to take this same lesson with you currently. Or there could be somebody who has taken this lesson, who has already got this lesson. We do have the vegans here solitude, independent, peace. Are you trying to make peace with your shadow? Who's in Libra's energy? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> like literally. I said, who's in Libra's energy in the whole Galactic Federation showed up. So I'm getting this energy of your life being looked at by a lot of people. Could be a Syrians A or Syrians A, the Syrians A. Could be looked at by a lot of people. And this is part of your soul tribe here. And I'm getting like your life on the screen. And these people coming together, talking about different stages in your life, different moments in your life. And it's something about this is the moment in time for you that I'm getting. Um, somebody is about to go from shy, timid, afraid, scared to a giant. These are literally like the opposites. This is shy, timid, misunderstood. This is the giant. They don't care. They they bring controversy. They don't, they don't care. They make new perspectives. They make change. All of that different stuff. Okay? So there's a group of people that are going through this same or that are watching you. Wow. And look, the M MIB, stalking, watching, investigating. There may be lots of people that could be confronting you. Let's see. What are they in Libra's energy for? Mm. Protection.
They're in your energy to protect you. We be getting a lot of this, this energy to show you unconditional love, but to also wake you up. I seen a prayer mantis the other day. Got mantis beings too. Someone is, is highly sensitive, so they need a lot of protection. You do have the third eye, your dreams can get crazy or something like that. Visions. They they could be here to protect your visions. When wow, thank you, Card. Like a clear, a clear message. When have they been in your inner? They've always been there. They've always been watching you. So I'm getting like from birth. There's been a whole federation, a whole team of people watching you, trying to keep you safe. your soulmates we do have the venusians maybe they're from venus they are in a spaceship some people that are from venus they're trying to get you to remember uh, who you are or where you're from you might want to do some more research on venus Something could be calling you to do something from Venus, but since birth, they've been with you for infinity, for eternal. For past life, this life, they will always be with you. They will always be watching. Some of you guys, the same community, the same people, you've been reincarnating with these same souls for a minute. Over and over and over and over and over and over again. All right, where? Where are these people? Basisca Pisces? <laughs> I never can say that. This word. But divine feminine energy have to get in the the book for this where are these people divine feminine birthing see where these people are where the where, where they're located So they are where the passage portal for the soul, the portal that links heaven and earth. They're at the portal. Procreation, birthing, pregnancy, fertility, sacred union, me, you, thoughts, actions, emotions, union, all over. They're, they're here to build. They're here for all the building blocks of divine um, meditation. So they're at this portal. We do have the blue avions philosophy. Movement, travel, long distance travel. There's somewhere that you traveled long distance to. Or they've been traveling at a long distance or you've traveled at a long distance.
that these people are at the portal. They could be waiting for you at the portal. All right, let's see how. So there could be some people that could be showing up as intimidating. We do have the lovers, soulmates, unconditional love, and we have the integration, life, lation, life lessons, emanation, right? The tree of life um, lessons, how all things connect and all things come together and grow and things like that. Um, There could be people that's surrounding you that is a little bit intimidating, but they're pushing you, pushing you to identify yourself. And this would be the shadow self. I feel like somebody has lost their type of identity. I do want to go into the tarot too, because this is, has been a very interesting read. So I want to ask more questions. Tell me more about the shadow self for Libra. Shadow self, so talking. So you're talking or you're moving with your shadow self. We do have this five of pentacles. This is a state of, you could have got some bad news. So this would be some type of news that you got that put you in some state that you were left out in the cold, that you were long, lonely, that you were going through a hardship, all through some type of news, some type of message that you get, okay? And what's in front of you, we do have the Emperor, the Six of Cups. So there's something that you were given as a child or there's something that was given to you as a child here. And I feel like it is in your shadow self. There's something that you were, some type of magical something that is in your shadow self. And I feel like you're getting pushed to kind of identify what that is, okay? Right now, you feel stressed, stressed out. But stress, you are at the end of your journey. You've actually made it through the portal. And there's just a need for you to tap into your shadow a bit more. What else? Anything else Spirit would like to add to this? Anything else? The tower. Literally, you're in a tower. Changing your belief system. It's just this tower keeps in the tower in the... um. The Wheel of Fortune, okay? So you're changing your belief system. I do feel you in this energy looking at something that you lost or looking at lack. Again, we did have that message that made you feel lack or feel lost or feel left out. But the moment that you turn around or the moment that you get, you understand that you didn't lose anything. You understand that you are the Empress Abundance. You can see nothing but abundance. It's just once you understand exactly who it is that you are. I do feel like that there could be some type of guilt that you may have or you could feel ashamed of doing something, ashamed of your shadow self for something. You could you could be blaming your shadow self for putting you in a certain type of position. Um, but the moment that you see yourself as abundant, you won't be able to see anything but abundance. OK, um, we do have the temperance here. So there is a reconciliation. Also, you do have an angelic activity going on around you. There's, there was, okay, so in whatever was in this cup, it was something from the angels. There's something that you got particularly from the angels, some type of blessings, but you must, you must stop looking at something as guilty or you must stop looking at, you know, yourself as lack. You must start looking at yourself as abundance, all right? Tell me more about the Galactic Federation. Why is this here? The Hierophant. So these people here, they have some, whoever's in your energy, they have some type of power, authority, control. There was drama, conflict at first. 
some type of drama and conflict that happened that confused you, okay? But this drama and conflict was purposeful, okay? Um, I'm seeing two people going the opposite directions here. Maybe you were going the opposite directions. This could be the shadow, but it's like, let's say if this was one horse, which it kind of looks like one horse. And if they were to continue to go, they probably wouldn't be able to move or they would tear apart or something like that. So I feel like there's two people that's going completely different in completely different directions. And as you can see, there's two people here that's supposed to come to this altar or this federation or collaboration or this meeting. And both people are going in two different directions. Okay. So we do have one person leading with their emotions. We have another person leading with their head. This could be you. This could be the shadow, you yourself and the shadow. It's just both people need to meet here together. There's been a conflict, a, a self inner conflict, and I do feel like this could be angelic. People that's as you can you can have a lot of angelic um, activity in your energy right now. We do have the death card coming up. There's a change that's happening. There's a death. There's a rebirth. Tell me more about this Hierophant. It's like a gathering. All major arcana coming out. Okay, so we do have the Ace of Swords and the Moon card coming out. Ace of Swords in reverse. So whoever this person is, they are disappointed. They're not happy with some type of mask that you're wearing and not being your, your your true self and pretending that everything is fine, but you're heartbroken and you're not kind of really living some type of, you're forgetting this cup. There's some type of cup that you were given. You're forgetting something that you were given from the angels. You're forgetting some type of abundance that you have. You're forgetting it. And I feel like you're about to be reminded because there's a group of people that's watching that's upset with you forgetting or wearing this type of mask. Disappointed even. You're the empress. You don't know you're the empress. You're the empress, but you don't know. Or you don't feel like it or something. You're the emperor and you don't know. Tell me more about the Octorians. Here to give you your flowers. They're here to give you your flowers, here to walk you to victory, celebrations here. Look, nine of pentacles. They're here to give you so many things. They've been with you since birth to give you so many flowers, so many like victory, your props, your recognition, all of that. But it's like you got to recognize you first. There's something that you went through that really, really hurt you that could have possibly changed how you view yourself. All right, what is. And we have the six of pentacles coming out. Yeah, it's time for you to be repaid for some type of hard work. There's a long awaited. Yeah, you've been waiting long for this. But it's here now. It's here now. Happiness, victory, success, all of that is here. It's here now for you. Tell me more about Oroboros. Uh, I know I'm butchering that word. <laughs> Spirit know what I mean. So 
They've been holding on to you tight, protecting you tight, tightly, holding you tightly. It's like they know you could have, you, you've been feeling left out in the cold and they know it. They know you've been feeling left out in the cold. They've been holding you tight ever since you got this, this message or ever since you got this type of energy. Who knows when you got this message? Who knows when you got some type of news that kind of made you feel like you were left out in the cold? They're trying to get you to look at the Four of Cups. Look at what's coming from the universe instead of what you could be expecting from people, places, and things. Something is definitely coming from the universe. We do have the Judgment card, which is being gifted from the angels. It looks like you have a lot of angelic activity. They've been holding you in unexpected ways, in ways that you, you least expect. You have no idea which... Most likely, most of us, we don't have any idea. Tell me more. What else would you like to say? What else do we need to know? We do have the hangman coming out. They've been protecting your perspective for a while. Protecting how you see things keeping you in this energy of being able to see some type of enlightenment so you are very very enlightened that's probably why like people are watching you since you are the high priestess they've been trying to keep you in this ten of pentacles I feel like they can also be family i'm also thinking like they keep up with you they can see beneath the veil they can see through everything We do have this hermit energy. They're trying to get you to tap in, tap inward. You may need to, they've been, been protecting you from certain people too. That will kind of mess with your perception. So if you, if you, people reject you or people leave from you, that would definitely be protection. Tell me more about this Siska. Pisces or Pisces. The Seska Pisces. So there is something that you're learning. This is at a new area of study. There's some type of new area of study that brings about this Ace of Pentacles. This is where this person is. We do have the devil card here. There's a message, a long awaited message that's coming from a person who could be trying to control you, from a person who could have been trying to hide something from you. Yes, keep getting the, the Empress Divine Feminine Energy. Tell me more. Keep getting the Empress this Divine Feminine Energy. They're at this new place. Okay, so there's some news. So there's some news that you haven't gotten yet. Or there's some news that's, that could possibly come. You haven't gotten this news. but Or there could be something that you they were there or they're here. They're in something that you find out about some news here. It could be something that you find out on the line on the um there's some news that brings you through some type of portal it's some news that's supposed to stop you but it doesn't completely doesn't stop you 
they're here waiting. It's like we're waiting for you at the finish line. Yeah, at victory. What else would you like to say about this spirit? Anything else to add? Yeah, there's a so they're 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 right there at the opening of a door, and I feel like the page of pentacles is just this this inspiration, or this could be something that you find that you want to learn more about, and they're right there. And look at this door. Look at literally the four of wands. They're at this path. They're really literally. It's almost like waiting. I'm waiting for you to come through, cheering you on, and here you are on your boat sailing, sailing through. Empress energy. Maybe it's a group of empresses that's getting together. Tell me more about um, the greys. Tall, tall greys. Why do greys always come out as the king of wands? I feel like this energy is like a push of force. Something that's forcing you. Yeah, this is that door that comes in. So there's this push of force. There could be people too. It's like, how are they going to do it? Yeah, this push of force and I see the strength by completely protecting you as you go through somewhere, as you go to this new door, as you go through this new stage. You are completely protected or you're protected in some type of not so good news. There's a new path that's coming through. And you're protected by pushing you. Also by pushing you through the door. You may be pushed through the door and you're not ready yet. Or you may feel like you're not ready to be pushed through some type of door. You do have a lot of protection around you. You have Leo energy. Somebody could be a Leo. No, it's, it's the lion that protects the empress. Lion, Leo energy. What else? Anything else to add? There's also a return on your investment for your hard work. It's like you chose to work hard. You had the skill of working hard and you chose to put it to the test. And did you work hard? Did you carry a load? You had the strength to carry a load and you decided to carry it. And did you carry this load? This was one hell of a load that you carried. Okay. So you're going to get pushed through. Yeah. Yeah. You're being pushed through to this other this other space. But there's a need for you to kind of like talk to your shadow self. Talk to your shadow about this. Um, it's also something that's happening overnight. You're also like the center of attention. Pushed in the center of attention here. There's also a need for you to leave something behind. Leave the past behind. Leave a past idea of yourself, version of yourself, identity of yourself behind. Because this is all about you kind of knowing exactly who you are. Yeah, there's a rebirth that's happening. So you're being pushed through the portal. Okay? I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video.